Hello, my name is Greg Taylor and I'm the course convener for the Hillary Term Option course in Internet Economics. Economics is a really general purpose, flexible and rigorous set of tools for thinking about um, behaviour. Why people behave the way they do and what are the origins of that behaviour in the environment that people find themselves in. Um, to understand why that might be uh, useful, I'd like you to think about a couple of problems um, that one might encounter. So first of all, imagine that you're working for the competition regulator and a case comes across your desk. The largest search engine in the market has announced that it would like to merge with the largest provider of real-time travel information. And lots of firms in the um, travel booking industry are worried about this because they say that a powerful search engine may use a position of power in the travel information industry to try to take over that industry too. And so your job as a regulator is to figure out should that merger be allowed to go ahead or not. Or imagine instead, if you find yourself working for the search engine, which earns most of its revenue by selling advertisements that are displayed alongside search results. Those advertisements are sold by an auction. And so the question naturally arises, should we change the rules of the auction to try to make it perform better? Because after all, changing the rules of the auction will change the way that people bid and therefore influence the um, outcome of the auction. So these questions, these problems are difficult for a couple of important reasons. First of all, they're hard to comprehensively answer with data because often the data we would need to do that simply doesn't exist. For example, um, we can't simply look at the last time a major search engine merged with a major travel information provider to see what happened because that probably never happened before. Uh, the second reason why these sorts of problems uh, are often difficult is that the phenomena that emerge in these sorts of environment are really the consequence not only of the environment itself but also of the actions of many many different actors who are interacting with each other. So for example the results of an auction depend not only on the rules of the auction, but also the strategizing and the bidding behavior of all of the bidders who participate in that auction. And so what is really needed is a tool that enables us to think about how the incentives and the constraints created by a given environment drive the behavior and drive the outcomes um, that are observed in that environment. And that's really exactly what economics is. And the way that we do that is by building models of behavior and looking at the way that the models predict behavior responds to the environment in which we put people. So because this is an exercise in modeling, um, it's going to involve some maths and for that reason the course starts with an optional lecture which will cover all of the mathematical tools necessary to follow the course, which basically means um, some basic calculus and some fairly rudimentary probability theory. And then the course proper starts with an introduction to economics that covers the basic methodological questions of how do we go about building an economic model, how do we build a model of behaviour, um, what are the tools available when one wishes to do that, and how can we use those tools to reflect the sorts of environments that we're interested in studying. And then the course progresses to deal with a range of substantive issues um, with applications to technology and the internet markets. So it covers things um, like price discrimination and its effects, um, product design, um, network goods uh, and platform competition, consumer search behavior, intellectual property and innovation policy, um, privacy and related policies. Really quite a broad spectrum of ways in which decisions are made by policymakers and other stakeholders and helps us to understand um, how the right kinds of decisions can be made. Um, because economics is such a general purpose and flexible tool, it's found very broad application in many different um, branches of society. So for example, in policy making, economics is very broadly used, particularly in areas such as competition policy or regulation, but also in um, policy making more generally, many facets of policy um, have an economic dimension to them. Economics is very important um, in business strategy, uh, in um, positioning a company within a market, issues like product design, pricing strategy, and also understanding how markets evolve. 
Um, and more recently, it's come to be important um, in areas that are known as economic design. So that is to say, if we think about an environment such as eBay or Airbnb, these are environments that were really built up from the ground upwards. All of the institutional um, uh, features of those environments were essentially design decisions that people made to try and shape behaviour in those platforms. And economics can help us understand how do you design environments like that to get the sorts of behaviour that one uh, might be interested in. So economics has really a very broad range of applications uh, in our area of interest. I think that makes it a very interesting time to be an economist and I'd love it if you'd come and join me.